Mr. White, Mr. Gravis. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to do this this type of problem. It's it's a it's a common problem. It's a quadratic and pieces of the of the coefficients are missing missing. So we have like a k, or sometimes we have a k plus one, or or something. One of these terms has a k in, involved, and and they usually say find exactly one solution, uh, find uh, the k that will produce no solutions, and find a k that produces two solutions. Um, so what does it mean, Mr. Kerbis, when I say a solution in general? What does a solution actually mean? A solution is a value of x or the variable that satisfies the equation, that makes it true. So in the case of a quadratic, you can have one or zero or two solutions, depending on where your quadratic sits or your parabola. So this is an example of one solution. So uh, it equals zero, so one solution is actually saying what k would prompt it to have only one x-intercept, like that. And then an uh, example of no solutions would be something like this. There are no x-intercepts. And then uh, maybe two solutions, we could have something like this. So we'll have uh, two x-intercepts, okay? Uh, and all these come and stem from this formula that you guys all know so well, uh, the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula also has a great song that is, goes with it. If you Google quadratic formula, there are millions of versions of this heard, wonderful tune. I've heard of that song. I've never actually seen it. Uh, so let's, let's look at the quadratic formula a little bit. If I split up this uh, quadratic formula into two pieces, I have this piece, and then I have uh, this piece. And so really what it's saying is go to negative b over 2a, which is that x value of that vertex. You've seen that formula before. And then it says to go to uh, plus square root b squared over 4 a, minus 4ac over 2a. So I go over that much, and I get to this point. And then I go minus that much, and I get that point. So those are, it actually tells you a lot in, in the quadratic formula alone. So uh, Mr. Kerbis, what do, how do I actually solve the problem? Let's get to the problem. In this case, we want exactly one solution. Now, the interesting bit with the plus or minus under the square root is we know the situation where you can't take the square root of a negative without using imaginary numbers. So in this course, we don't take the square root of a negative. So that value there has got to be positive if you have two solutions, zero if you have one solution, or negative will give you zero solutions. Okay. And so the name of that part, b squared minus 4ac, is the discriminant. Yeah, so this piece that I circled is called the discriminant. If, like Mr. Kerber said, if this piece is negative, we have no solutions because we can't take a square root of a negative. If it's zero, we'll be going negative b plus zero minus zero. So we're in the same spot, so that's one solution. And then we have, if it's plus, we'll go negative b plus this piece to that one, negative b minus that piece. Uh, to this one. So, okay, so we just want one solution, so we do uh, set this thing equal to zero. So negative b, we get uh, negative 3 squared minus 4ac, and we want it to equal zero. So remember, uh, negative 3 squared is positive 9 minus 4k equals zero. So k equals negative 9 divided by negative 4, so we have 9 over 4. So that's the only k that will prompt, or that will give one solution for this function. Did I do it right, Mr. Kerbis? No. <laughs> In <laughs> your b squared, your value of b is actually 3, not negative 3. What? Huh. You're right. And okay. what else? No, that's it. That's oh. perfect. It won't change the answer because negative 3 squared is 9 and positive 3 squared is 9, but could if it was the a or the c value. Yeah, yeah. So I squared it, so it ends up being positive. Um, I, B, I don't know. What, what would they do? Let you go? If your examiner is a bit tired, you would uh, be okay, and you would get full marks. If you were on a paper where that was one of the method marks, you would have lost one mark along the way. Yeah. Be careful, unlike me. <laughs>